ओके गाइस नाउ इन दिस पार्ट विल सी हाउ वी कैन रिसीव डेटा व्हिच इज बीइंग पोस्टेड ऑन द एपीआई इन एक्सप्रेस जीएस एंड क्वेरी स्ट्रिंग्स पैराम्स एंड यू हैव दैट डायनेमिक यूआरएल अ बंच ऑफ स्टफ हाउ टू हैंडल दैट एंड विल बिल्ड समथिंग लाइक अ क्रेड एपीआई एंड विल यूज द सेम फाइल एज आवर डेटाबेस सो लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट इट सो फर्स्टली विल बिल्ड अ सर्वर सो विल से एक्सप्रेस equals to require express then we'll say constant app equals to express then we'll say app dot listen on port 4000 and we'll just console server is up pan running okay guys now we'll go here now before that we have to ins install some modules so we'll say npm install uh, express okay guys so we are in the same node.js folder and that there is currently empty okay everything is fine we'll just say nodemon app.js and we'll just forget it apart from we'll see just like basic console so now let's just start it okay guys so firstly let's just create a normal database i say db dot json and here i'll say what data do i need i'll say i'll have a country then i'll say india then their capital delhi or let's just take some other data like something like people uh, people's data so we'll say firstly id like every person has a id so we'll say id one and we have to wrap this up in like this yeah then we have a name name is like akshay then we'll say rank like how much rank did that person got and this person got maybe percentage will be better percentage and i'll say 87.5 i'll just copy this stuff and paste it again and again okay now this is id1 i'll change to id2 and i'll say xeno percentage 45 id3 name amit percentage 48 ashraf percentage 75 and we'll have winner whose percent is like 80 save it so we got a name and id and then just change it back to 12345 then we have name and particularly that person percentage you can see now this will be our database okay guys now here what we'll say const fs equals to require fs now firstly i'll say app dot get so this will be our get route which will return all the data and we'll have a request comma response and here i'll say constant data equals to fs dot read file sync and file is db dot json and i'll just say res dot send the data file normal now i'll open postman and 
and it's taking little time yeah so already we have written about so let's just remove because of when we were working previously so instead of post we'll have a get okay guys now i'll make a request here and i got all the data in the json format status okay everything's okay now if there's some other route we'll say app dot all when someone is going on a like wrong route so i'll say app dot all request comma response let's dot send so we have status so we can say status 404 so this is the status okay when you say status like we can send status like this and if you don't write the status so by default it's 200 but if you want so i'll just say status then i'll say send now i'll make an object so always send an object and you can say as a message or whatever we not serve this page okay guys go here now we'll make a post request we not serve this page everything's fine so we can say we do not yeah and uh, now we'll add the data so for adding the data we'll just say app dot post on the same route and we'll say request comma response or we can just make it as post so that'd be better like we'll have a different name and here we can say uh console dot log request okay so i'm just showing you the how we get the request save it node mount running now here if you want to send json data come to this body select ray and json format okay guys now here we'll say name abhay just one data i'm sending to show you so we got into we do not serve this page yeah it was slash post so you can see we got a let me just cancel it we got a bunch of stuff it's little bit different from what we have seen in what to say uh Uh, HTTP server I just forgot and this is query and params that also we'll see and you can see we are getting the path also so on which path it's slash path so we can know always the path or hyper reference all the these stuffs are same maybe they change by time like what uh, routes then the original URL then has body true max pairs to consume true and then what else i want to show you you can see we get heading like headers we can send headers also so i'll tell you about headers so you can see this headers this is raw headers this is headers then okay you can see this is so much of data in this one request so now we'll search for something called body okay we'll say body you can see we are se sending here body so we'll just search for body let let us check whether we are getting or not find next has body true so it's telling okay there is a body but we can't find the body where is the body I mean you can see there is just that I mean body should be there so what we have to do we have to pass the data so data may be coming in raw format or whatever so we have to pass the data so here we'll use a middleware we'll say app dot use express dot json so we are telling whatever data is coming just change into json format or pass the data in the json format so in the body 
so we can get the data in the body okay now again if I check whether it got reloaded or not okay I haven't saved reloaded now again I sent the data okay again it got printed now if I search for body you can see we got the body data you can see body name true we just added this middleware and we got it so this will like every whatever route will come it will go through it so whatever data it will have it will just parse it with the express json but in a lot of people they are using like body parser which is called like body parser then they say true like this but express has a built-in module dot json you can use that also instead of this long body parser okay guys so now we say request dot body and currently we'll just press dot end we won't send anything we'll just say okay end it and see what data we get let me cancel it yeah send see we got name ab hai in the object and here nothing because I'm just sending okay okay guys like rest dot end just don't let the request cycle wait because request is a cycle firstly you request then it wait for some times then you respond then the cycle gets ends so that's a request response cycle now we have to push this data into the uh, database or file so before that we'll add more data we have name then we'll say percentage we'll say 55.6 then name and percentage only na? Uh, yeah ID we have to give so let's just send it Okay, yeah so you can see name above percentage 55.6 again send it name above percentage 55.6 so we are getting the clearly the data now in this post firstly I have to check the max ID then increment the ID by one and then push it here so for that firstly I'll again read the file constant data equals to fs dot read file sync db dot json and we'll just console the data console dot log data save it node mon running send we got the data in the buffer mode so here we'll just say read it in utf8 we got the data in the json mode so we'll just pass this data we'll say let me just make a new line here i'll say let data and here is the data equals to json dot pass give the data save it send the request we got the now in the object mode now we have to just loop and get the max id so we'll for that we'll say that data dot for each and here we'll get the object and here we'll say if object dot id is greater than max so I have to wrap this up in this then I'll make max equals to object dot id and here we'll take max for the first always as 0 and we'll say let max 0 and here we'll just console dot log max to check what is the maximum value we are getting it should be 5 as I think okay it hasn't been reloaded yeah so we are getting 5 as the maximum id 
now we just have to push the data with the max id so we were getting the data in that body to will say let body equals to request dot body because we are getting data here then we say body dot id equals to max plus one because we want to add one number id more now i'll say fs dot read file uh, sorry write and here i said dot slash db dot json okay we have to add this into data now because it's i'm adding to id now this body is having everything id name percentage now now i'll add it to data so i'll say data dot push body now here i'll just say just write data and yeah that's it or what we can do yeah that's okay now afterwards now we'll save it now there's one problem it's a json file so nodemon will see it will auto restart when there will be a change so we'll add a nodemon dot json and we'll make a extension and we'll say don't we'll say just watch the js file don't watch json files okay guys now let me restart this now we have these files only percentage and 87 per id 1 2 3 4 5 and postman yeah if i send it we are getting error hmm data argument must be of type string or an instance of buffer type array okay here we are just directly writing so we'll say json dot stringify now let's just check send it everything's fine no error let's just check save it so it just make itself very well so yeah you can see we got name percentage and id so id is in the last because our data we are adding id in the last and id automatically got six and name is above percentage 55.6 now i'll send percentage 80.5 name okay send it save so we got id 7 now in response we have to send the same data we say rest that send here we'll say message successfully added and or we'll say status 201 when something is created we we'll say send a status of 201 and after that i'll just say body and body so i'll give back the body so the user will know okay what stuff was added and i'll say again kill percentage 45.05 so you can see message successfully added body name akhil percentage and we give this id to this person so this was a like post request you can always work request dot post now we'll make delete we'll say app dot put maybe i'll make a put update afterwards delete and i will say slash put only we have a request comma response so whatever is the condition we have to give the query params so to tell okay which id i want to do so i'll give the query as uh, post question mark 
id equals to 5 so i am giving this a query so i have to get the query somehow okay guys and this will be a put request yeah and it will be on the slash put you can see i'm sending localhost 4000 put question mark id equals to 5 put and we are sending the id now i'll just console now i'll check what we are getting in request and for now i'll just say rest dot end server running now let's just send and let's just check whether we got something in body or not uh, sorry query or not you can see body is currently empty we haven't sent anything in body and if you check the body this is there but we have clicked this part so this was empty so this was sent that is completely em empty otherwise we could have got the data so for that currently we are checking for the id so we'll search query whether there is a something called query here so you can clearly see we got query id 5 okay guys now i just have to here type request dot query save it got reloaded now here send it we got id 5 if you have more data suppose query is like you have to send extra extra data you can just send it in query Again, if you like if you don't want to use body post and if you want to send more so just like write and and you say i mean name equals to abe like this send see we got name abe id5 whatever data you want to send just add i uh, and and your field whatever field you have equal to value whatever value you want send see we got the data name by field value there is one thing it starts with the question mark always remember whenever your uh, root got ends afterwards it start with the question mark and this is called queries because these are queries from you are sending a data and you can see after the put url i don't have a slash directly question mark and if you put a slash also before the question mark then also it won't hurt you can see we get the same data there is no compulsion but if you remove this question mark suppose you have removed this question mark you said i won't write question mark send sorry you can see we do not serve this page so it's going to a different page only like totally different page because it's checking for this uh, like slash after post slash whatever you name it so now we'll send question mark see now we are getting the data here so that's the difference between query and normal url if you write a query it will just match and send it and if you don't write a like suppose you say put id equals to 5 if i suppose you move everything and say id 5 id 5 5 okay just id 5 send you can see we got null because this got this got converted into key but what is the value null so i have always have to give a value which is be there see id 4 5 so this is what your query is i think this is much clear you just add a question mark after that key equal value that's it and this is what totally query is so we'll give the query for id 5 and we are getting it back yeah now here what we'll say request dot query dot id and we'll say let me just remove yeah and here we'll say constant id equals to this we'll get the id then again we'll let db equals to fs dot read file sync we'll read the file dot db dot json okay before that we have to send the data now so data will like will send updation of like this only i want to update id5 with name this and percentage this so there's no problem so we can just say let body equals to request dot body yeah 
so we get every data in body if we are sending a application json so yeah and you can see this is a json format we can select type and we and we are sending a json and we'll say dot json and we'll uh, read in utf8 and here we'll say db dot for each object and here we'll say if object dot id is equals to the id i have got but we get whatever data you send we get in like in query params we get in uh, string so if you go to words here you can see it's a string double like single quotes so we in this i'll just say parse in so whenever we get the data we just pass into integer now here we'll just write uh, uh, db okay we'll take the index also now whatever the index will be so i'll say db on that particular index just remove with the current object i have got okay guys but that current object doesn't have a id because id is here so we'll just add the id body dot id equals to id now again we'll just write the file so we'll say fs dot write file sync in the slash db dot json and what data we have to write we have to write db only but we'll stringify it i think you know what i am doing here because when we made cred api in http server it's basically like this only now after everything is done we'll just send the updated data which is res dot send we'll say message data got updated and here we'll give the body and the updated data okay guys and yeah that's it i think but there is one thing more we have to do sorry have to check so this is save it so i will just update this uh, ashraf id is 4 and i'll update the percentage so i'll say id will be 4 name i'll let the name ashraf be i'll update percentage with 90 and currently we have 75.5 percentage you can clearly see so let's just send the request and check what is being happening and what is doing i hope we got an error Achha, it wasn't reloaded guys sorry send so yes db dot for each is not a function okay because it's a file so we have to parse it to json so we'll say json dot pass let's say db it it's like a string normal server up now we'll just send it so you can see data got updated we are sending data got updated body name ashraf percentage 90 id 4 let's just check in our database save it so it get in the better way id 4 name ashraf percentage 75.5 so it's not got updated what could be a possible reason mm. db index we are sending okay we are sending the same object we have to send the body instead yeah save it now let's just check id4 ashraf still we are not 
db index we are changing it to body what body we get then we again write in the stringify everything's look fine to me let me send it again maybe huh it hasn't been done yet you can see so what could be a possible reason if object dot id is equals to id we have already passed an id is in int and uh, let db pass db db dot for each object let me just console the db after it's getting change so we can know much send let just check and we are getting at beta 90 age id 4 yeah it got here so what was the problem i i thought you now know because this wasn't updated as soon as i press enter it just started reloading so as i told you in the starting only sometimes stone one does this but it's maybe with my system only i can't say but it does this and you can see name Ashraf percentage 90 ID 4 we just currently updated that data now we'll uh, suppose someone is sending a wrong ID that ID is in present there so we have to send back okay ID is not present yeah guys so okay we'll add the validation part afterwards maybe in the next tutorial or somewhere now this put is done and you got to know what is query here now we'll say delete app dot delete which will be on the route delete let this be and i'll take request and response and now here i will say firstly i'll read the so where i will send the delete what what id so i will like to send something like id like not this i'll just say put slash id id number four or five whatever the id number is that i want to send it something like that uh, let me just go back and firstly write the delete stuff so we'll get the data I'll get the like sender data in params so because you haven't seen params so I will just cover everything in this part so how we can send params so we just say like this and colon so this is colon two dots not semicolon colon and we here write our id so whatever you want to give word id abc whatever and you can just send the data in this so this is what your dynamic url you can say or you can say params whatever you want now i'll say console.log i'll just print the request and i'll rest.n okay guys save it everything's fine now here we can see we are just want to delete and we are we are in the delete route now if i send it so these data won't be sent maybe yeah these will be sent i think that but we we never mind we send i think it not reloaded okay yeah, now send so see we got a lot of data and you can see we body also sent so we can send body also but we don't want to send body from this we'll delete from the params only and you can see path delete delete id and this is the path i chose if I go above and you can see path all delete 5 delete 5 delete 5 originally while I delete 5 now let me just search directory control F param uh, find next down okay I'll say down go down oh yeah, yeah, yeah there was in the up it was yeah you can see in the params I got 
the id 5 so let's just cancel and i'll just say request dot params what am i writing request dot params now if i go back here and server is up and running send oh, sorry guys yeah we can see we got the id 5 how we just write 5 here after slash and i'm telling here whatever comes in the last just capture it if i make it like abc abs let be abs again send it and i think it hasn't been reloaded yeah send you can see we got abs 5 again send abs 5 now if i make it like whatever word i say quality so this is my word so we get the word so what you got to know wherever you write this uh, uh, colon and whatever word so that will be a dynamic url or you can say params and whatever you give in that url instead of the real so you'll get a you'll get some value in this params so suppose in delete also in between i'm making slash id okay suppose so let's just see before also we can get some data or not so i'll say after delete here i'll say 5 slash 5 okay delete slash 5 slash quality let's just see the results it's got updated so we can see we got the id also abs also so in between you can put but suppose these were the, these were the like last route suppose i want to put it before delete so let's just cut this id part and paste it here now i'm sending the id before then delete then sending another word abs so yeah let me just save it okay yeah now it's better because i don't know what i wrote now we are sending id first then delete then abs so everything got updated now we'll just say id 5 and delete then this 5 is not there because we removed it from there now again send see again we got the data so there is absolutely no problem where you put it here or here or in there wherever you want you can just put it so now we'll just delete that data after receiving in the id so i'll receive it here and call it as id so i'll say like i'll say constant id equals to request dot params dot id okay guys now i'll say fs i'll say constant db fs dot read file sync in utf8 mode now in db firstly i'll loop over it i'll say for each and what to say object uh, yeah ob object then we'll say if object dot id is equals to this id okay what i have sent but this is in the st string format you can see we'll change into parsint now here i'll just write like uh, uh, what to say mm, if uh, we want to delete now i'll say db dot splice 
and index comma index plus one so just remove that uh, in from that index to plus one so that one index and uh, firstly we ha have to parse it also so here we'll say let db because it will be the in the string mode so we'll say db equals to json dot pass db now parsing then doing now after this stuff is done then we'll say fs dot write into db dot json and here we'll change back db to stringify we'll say db equals to json dot stringify db and here we send the db here and here we'll say res dot send what we'll say we'll say message successfully deleted the data so you can see what i am doing here i mean this is the same stuff i taught you in http server we are getting this time from the params id so it will be from slash then i'll read the file then i'll parse it to database like uh, json format then i'll loop over it check the id and remove that index change back to a string then i'll just write it again and then send the message successfully deleted the data now let's just come here and suppose i want to delete three let's just check three save it so we got three here amit so let's just send it with postman we do not serve this page okay okay we have we have five in between when we were testing again error so we got an error so what's the error for each is not defined okay uh, okay this is the db dot for each db dot for each yeah server is up again an error index is not defined yeah yeah we haven't defined the index also i'm just uh, forgetting s silly silly things now we're getting successfully deleted the data here no errors db json so we get id3 deleted so now you have seen uh, like how we have how basically we are using here uh, queries also then we are using these params dynamic url then uh, directly posting the data also so we have seen all the stuff from which we can send the data now we'll get the particular data so i'll say i'll say app dot get on the base i want the particular id data again i say request comma response and now again i'll read the file so i'll say let db equals to fs dot read file sync in the utf8 mode then i'll say db dot what to say db dot uh, firstly convert to json format uh, sorry object json dot parse db now i'll say db dot for each get the object and i say if object dot id is equals to this id then i'll say here make a body so i'll say let body 
so we'll say body equals to that object okay so we'll get that object now we'll just say rest dot send that particular object so everything's done server is reloaded now we'll just say id 4 we do not serve this page so what's happening like everything is fine we are just saying go to id slash 4 and here we are saying app dot get normal okay but we are when sending the id we are it's saying we don't serve this page if i get send you can see we don't serve this page so because it just can't match with the same name because both are on the same and this is like extra data so it just can't get so we here we'll say get like this now save it now here i'll say get and we'll get that particular data okay now what app dot get okay uh, everything's right hmm so why not okay we are just deleting so we have to do get error yes what error id not defined so we have not defined id so yeah so we'll say constant id equals to request dot params dot id and here i'll say parse int okay guys now again reload it send uh, object is not defined where is the object not defined i'm just okay send body not object yeah again do it so we are not getting the data okay uh, server restarted but we are not getting it's working but uh, we are just telling so let's just print the body let's just see what in the body we get console.log body undefined huh. we are getting undefined so maybe if we change it to val that may be but that shouldn't be a problem totally but let's just see who knows still undefined so where i'm going wrong i'm just sending looping on db object so i'll just console the object console dot log object send okay it's not looping here you can see get slash get slash four get slash get slash four <laughs> it's not even coming here i think so object dot id dot okay it's can't match the id i think so console x now if i send so yeah so id yeah these are the id so i am okay i am requesting for which got deleted earlier so i'll say 2 see we got the id 2 name zeno percentage 45 id 6 we got the 6th id percentage everything id 7 we got the 7th id so if i again just remove this stuff and ag again show you on the base url i want to just send it send and you can see it's currently working fine so at that time actually it was on the delete stuff so that's why i thought so but you can just do that also and if i say one i'll get the one so this is the basic uh, uh, cred part now there is still a lot of stuff left 
so now in the next part we'll see how to uh, validate the data like if someone is sending the wrong data suppose that id 4 was not present okay so at that period of time i would like to send okay this id is not present so you are requesting a wrong id okay guys so we'll see that stuff in the next part